Today, I'll show you how to make your own air dry clay from just a few cheap ingredients. And you'll be amazed at how well this DIY clay actually works. All you'll need is cornstarch, PVA glue, white vinegar, baby oil, and Vaseline. Let's get sculpting. Grab a microwave safe container and add the cornstarch and the PVA glue. You'll need equal volumes of the two, making it super easy to scale the recipe up or down depending on the size of your project. If you prefer to weigh out your components, the PVA glue weighs double the amount of the cornstarch, making it another easy measurement of one to two. Then add two tablespoons of baby oil, followed by one teaspoon of white vinegar. The vinegar acts as a preservative so the clay doesn't go moldy whilst drying or if you want to keep a portion of your clay for later use. Mix it all together until it's smooth and looks like icing. Yum! Then place it in the microwave for 20 seconds. Give it a stir and then another 20 seconds of heat. If the mix is still runny, you might want to give it a third round of heat or if you're working with a larger portion, you can give it 30 seconds at the time instead. After a couple of goes in the microwave, your mixture will look super weird and lumpy and you'll likely think you've done something wrong, but just give it a second. Stir it until it's a roughly even mix, then dust off your hands with a bit of cornstarch and pick up your clay mixture. Knead it in your hands until it's an even dough. Adding a little bit of Vaseline to your work surface will make the clay silky smooth and also prevent it from sticking. Your clay should be stretchy and take a little while to separate when you pull it apart, just like this. Bonus tip! If you don't have a microwave, you can instead heat your mixture in a pan on low heat. It's completely fine to use kitchen tools for this process as all components are food safe, even the glue. That doesn't mean you should eat it of course, but everything is non-toxic and safe for indirect food contact. When it starts to firm up and go lumpy, remove it from the pan and knead it in your hands like we did before. Oh, and the easiest way to clean up your tools is to wait for the glue to dry and then simply peel it off before washing up. Now let's continue. The clay has a natural whitish translucent color and you can use it as is or you can tint it with either food coloring or acrylic paint. Whoops. The clay will look a little bit lighter than the color you use because of the whiteness from the cornstarch, but it will darken a few shades after it dries, so don't let the pastel tone put you off. Now it's ready to be sculpted and you'll be amazed over how easy this clay is to work with. You can roll it, you can coil it, combine different colors and use your normal sculpting tools. When you've finished your creations, simply leave it to air dry and it will harden up in 12 to 48 hours depending on the thickness of your sculpt. It does shrink between 10 to 20% by the time it's fully dry Thin pieces can also warp a little bit. After drying, you can also paint your clay with acrylic paint. If you have any leftover clay after you finish sculpting, you can store it in a Ziploc bag for later use. The vinegar helps preserve the raw clay, but as this is all made from natural ingredients with no artificial preservatives, it'll only last for about a week. But your sculpted pieces won't go off after drying, so that tip is only relevant for raw clay that you want to keep for later use. If you want more tips on how to sculpt with air dry clay, such as how to prevent cracking, you should check out this video next. Thanks for watching, bye!